Hey, Aquafina. Hey, have a seat. Thank you so much. I'm so glad to be here. Welcome to K-Town. And I'm thrilled to ask you 73 questions. Me too. I'm very excited. I'm, I'm actually running around to some meetings right now, but uh, I think we're going to make it work. We're going to make it work. But before we do, how should I address you? We're going to go by Nora or Aquafina for this. That depends on if we're married or not. So, how did you come to land on Aquafina anyway? Um, when I was 15 or 16, I, I thought that the name Aquafina was, was great, hilarious. I never thought anyone would ever call me that. Cut to now where everyone calls me that, so that's good. Did any other names make the list? Kimchi Jige, uh, you know, getting Jige with it. I want to make Jige jokes. Yeah, that doesn't roll off the tongue. Can I clear some room for you? Yes, please. Thank you, Chris. I got you, Mom. Right. What's the name that you give on your Starbucks orders? I like putting Michelle Pfeiffer, all Fs in the Pfeiffer. It throws them off a little bit. What's the biggest difference between Nora and Aquafina? One has acid reflux, the other one yells a lot. What's the biggest similarity? We both love soup. I love New England clam chowder. Mm. What's your favorite borough in New York City? I gotta say Queens. Gotta say Queens. What's the most underrated thing in Queens? The food and the diversity of the food and the availability of the food. And what would you say is the best kept secret in New York City? I couldn't tell you. Cheat answer. Let's get at it. All right, I'm just gonna go check out if you want to come with. Let's do it. So as a born and bred New Yorker, what's your opinion of Los Angeles? Um, I like LA. It's the same weather every day. I get to drive everywhere. It's great. And what's the best part of LA? The best part is, is being near all kinds of bodies of water. We got pools, we got oceans, we got reservoirs, we got a little lake. Look at that. You got your swimming pool right there. But what's the worst part about Los Angeles? Um, I say the worst thing about being LA is, is how big it is. Um, I once tried to walk from Koreatown to Santa Monica. Didn't work out. It's a long day's journey into night. After New York, where would you say you feel most at home? Probably an abandoned school bus hurling insults at trees. <laughs> okay. What's always found in your carry-on? I love a good spa facial spritz. I love spritzing my face when it needs it. Who's your dream travel partner? Say Jon Snow. I think he'd be a little reluctant at first, and then he'd be really helpful along the journey. If you had to write another city guidebook, what city would it be for? I love Seattle. I love to explore Seattle. Coffee or tea? Matcha. Early bird or night owl? I'm a night owl that goes to bed early and wakes up early, so I guess an early bird. And what's a podcast you recommend for everyone? Criminal. Yeah, shout out Phoebe. It's a great, great podcast. If you can make a cameo in any film, TV show, or podcast, what would it be? What was that show where, like, the, the cousin is, comes from another country and he starts all kinds of trouble? Balcony? Uh -oh. Bal Balky. Balky. Perfect Strangers. Perfect Strangers. Love that, that show. One. I love it. Okay, so pay me a picture. What does one day in Aquafina's life look like? One day in... Just a typical day. I, um, I wake up probably wearing the same clothes that I've been wearing. And, uh, and then I spend an hour or two crying or laughing. And uh, then I put on some shoes and get out that door. And how does your day usually end? Usually ends with me on uh, Sepulveda uh, yelling at birds. Hey, they checked them all. Thank you. If you're wearing a mood ring, what color would it be? Probably the green brown that all mood rings are. What does that mean? Uh, it means that mood rings don't work. Thank you. So what are you most excited about at this current moment in life right now? I was gonna go to Jimmy John's. I love the big Italian, so I'm excited about that. But I'm excited to be here right now with you. What are you putting off at this moment? Probably going to Jimmy John's, getting that big Italian. If you could listen to one instrument for the rest of your life, what would it be? Um, I'd say a flugelhorn. You play flugelhorn? No, 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 I don't have the lungs for it. <laughs> Who always makes it onto your playlists? Jamiroquai, he always wiggles his way in there. If you could choose someone to cover one of your songs, who would it be? The B-52s. I love oh, them. Oh, that's a good one. I love the B-52s. Um, I just, I got to go up to my room. Oh, yeah, Are we yeah. good on time? Oh, we're totally fine. We have like another 10 minutes. Story. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So what's a rumor that you think would be funny to start about yourself? That Aquafina is the best and she has no flaws. What's the last emoji that you remember using? I like using the ambulance or the rocket that is aggressively blasting off. And would you find yourself using Twitter or Instagram more? I love... I'm more active on Instagram, but I like to get the tea and the news from Twitter. Thank you. Love you, Chris. Now, I remember watching your music videos when they first came out. How did it feel getting attention for the first time? Um, it was like a panic attack, reliving it over and over again, but also like very exciting. That must have been exciting. You were getting a ton of buzz. But were you anxious or hesitant starting out, putting yourself up on the internet like that? There are several voices in my head. One was um, like, oh my God, are you really going to do this? And the other one was like, don't do it. And the, the third one was like, was like, I mean, just do it. And so I listened and I, and I did it and here we are. Do you ever read the comments uh, on YouTube? I once met an old wise man under a tree. The tree had pickles and he said, um, never read the comments. So I listened. That's pretty specific. Yes. So Aquafina, you're a rapper, an actress, internet personality, comedian, an author, a host. What do you most identify with? Probably DJ photographer. <laughs> what or who inspires most of your lyrics? The stars at night, 
The sound of waves softly crashing onto one another, your voice. Aw, thank you. Mm -hmm. So what comes first, the beat or the lyrics? Um, I gotta say the beat. The beat, it all starts with the beat. Is it easier for you to write raps or jokes? I would say jokes, knock knock jokes. What was the most memorable job that you had while getting your comedy up and running? That would be the vegan bodega. Taught me a lot about customer service, a lot about retail. There you go. Wanna come in? Yeah, let's do it. All right. And what was your favorite job? My favorite was probably working at the video store when I was 16 years old. What film did you rent the most from there? Beaches. Beaches. Bad Midler. Deep cut. Sad movie. By the way, beautiful view. It is, check it out, Look it's at gorgeous. That. Los Angeles. So Aquafina, when did you realize you could first make people laugh? Um, I developed humor as a defense mechanism when I was like four, actually after the passing of my mom. Um, I wanted to be an emblem of joy and not an emblem of sorrow. That's touching. Was there a particular moment you realized you wanted to be a comedian? When I was about five or six, I, I had this crowd rolling, right? I remember going home at night, sitting awake as a child and wondering if like the laughs were real or if they just felt bad. You were so young. Yeah. But there's also so much heart in your SNL monologue. Thank you. What did that experience feel like? It must have been surreal. Um, it was amazing to be able to deliver a monologue that, that um, you know, took more of a serious turn. Um, I think it's one thing to imagine being on that stage and another to imagine tearing up. And um, that's what that moment meant to me, for sure. Mm. Well, have you met Lucy Liu since that monologue? No, I'm meeting her on Saturday. I'm really <laughs> no. nervous. What do I? What do you wear to that? You know, she's so cool. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna like. I'm gonna be like shivering. I don't know. I don't know. That's so exciting. What does it mean being a woman in comedy? What it means to be a woman in comedy. I think um, being a woman in comedy means kind of building up that that collective camaraderie with the truths, the sometimes sad and, and funny truths of being a woman, but also. Um, Using it to empower, using it to encourage, using it to laugh, uh, to further improve womanhood in general. Are you annoyed of being asked that question? I mean, it's fine, I, it's fine. I've heard through the grapevine you're creating your own show right now. Are there any spoilers you can reveal? Yeah, at the end, everyone dies in the spaceship. <laughs> what three words are used to describe an Aquafina set? Fun, full of joy, frolic, frolicking joyfully. Fantastic. I also hear you're great at impressions. No, I'm not. I mean, like, where'd you hear that from? Like, I'm not like that oh, good. Like, I've heard I'm it. not. It's not like I just want to do them all the time. But if like you ask, maybe I would. But I, I probably wouldn't ask. do it. I'm prompted. It's like, really, how how, how you feel, and if you want to hear one, can you do one? Oh, okay. All right. How about this one? This is a deep cut. Okay, ready? Yeah. Where's the string beans? Uh, right. Wait, wait. Let me do it one more time. It's better when I do it. Okay. Where's the string beans? I had just left them on the table, and they're gone now. Name it, name it. You know? Now it's older, so forget it. I have no idea what that was, but I loved it. Thank you. Now, you've worked with some amazing actors. I have. What's yes. your dream ensemble cast? Me. All of the dragons from Game of Thrones. I'm talking all of them, all right? And Carol Burnett. Okay. Love Carol, too. Yeah. If you staged a heist like in Ocean's 8, what would you want to steal? Probably bagels, everything bagels. I feel like they always run out of everything bagels, so I just wanna, st I wanna hoard them all. I, wanna, I want them all in, the, in a bagel room. And you play a pickpocket in that film. How method did you get with that? Um, it depends on what you consider method, because it's like, I found this somewhere. Wait a sec, that's, are you serious? How did you? Well, you, you know, you do a lot of wrist talking. So, you know, that's your number one for pickpockets. You talk a lot with your wrists. I, I pulled this one, a Folex, what a good brand. Hey, that is not a Folex, thank you. So you received rave reviews about your performance in The Farewell. What drew you to that? You know, I never thought in my lifetime that I would receive a script that was about an Asian American woman and the relationship she has with her grandma, as well as the journey of going from America to China. It was, it was incredible. I, I can't believe I got it. 在电影里说中文吗？对。and you're close to your grandmother in real life. I am. She's my best friend. Did that make it easier or harder for you to tap this role? It made it easier in that I, I know um, how to relate to that relationship and harder in that embodying the character, you have to imagine losing your grandma, which was hard. Describe her in three words. Okay, here we go. Fun. Full of life. Funny. Nailed it. So, Crazy Rich Asians was the first Hollywood movie with an all-Asian cast in 25 years. Mm -hmm. What did that feel like to be a part of? I think when we were out there filming it, we knew that we were part of something special, but it, to what extent, we had no idea. It wasn't until we came back and we would sit through these screenings and see these kids come out 
crying because that is the power of representation. You don't realize how important it is until you realize you've been missing it your whole life. Mm. Um, so yeah, it was really special. How close is your personal style to Paik Lin's personal style? Paik Lin, it's, it's not close because um, Paik Lin shops couture, Nora shops two for four. Yeah, get it? I see what you did there. I just made that up. It was good. Great. You're in comedy. Thank you. I heard that you have a nickname for Ken Jeong. Papa Fina. And what's an article of clothing you can't live without? I'd say a full body spank, one that goes from my toes to my neck. What's your favorite look that you wore on the red carpet? I love pantsuits. What trend would you like to see a little bit more of on the red carpet? I think we need more latex, specifically around the shins. Are there any trends you regret trying? Ooh, I got, I one time got short angry bangs and I'd run my finger through it and it felt like a toothbrush. <laughs> Do you have any daily skincare rituals? I, I use a, a, a serum and then I'll put, you know, maybe some moisturizer right on top of that. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll put the moisturizer first, then the serum, who knows? Whose word do you trust the most when it comes to beauty products? My makeup artist. Shout out Kieran Body. Love you. What are your thoughts on dating apps? Sorry, I misheard the question. Um, I mean, I'm a Gemini, um, and I love walks on the beach. I also love Joshua Tree. I can do all that, but I also like a nice night home, maybe watching Netflix, maybe catching up on the OA. I don't know. Whatever you want to do. What side are you? What are you doing later? Are you free? Are you, do you like Thai food? I know this great Thai place called Pot Ward down in Hollywood. I love Hollywood. I love the Pantages. I love cats. Have you seen cats? I love, I love show tunes. Uh, I've only seen the trailer. So what question do you wish you were asked last? Um, why, why do, why are you this way? And what's a question that you wish you were asked more? I want to be asked, how are you doing? Like, how are you doing? Like, really make eye contact with me. You absolutely, know? absolutely. And in that bit, do you prefer answering questions or do you prefer asking them? I like doing a bit of both. I like being the interviewee and then also flipping it, becoming the interviewer. Okay, Aquafina, this is our last question. Question number 73. Can I have my watch back? Oh, oh wait, is that a phone? Sorry, is that, your, is that your phone? Sorry. Can I? Oh, it must be this one. It must be this phone here. The phone's not ringing. Hello? Yeah, yes. Oh, how's your mom doing? Sorry, I can't hear, are you on a mountain? Are you on a mountain? Hello? Hello? You know, just, hey. just keep the watch. Oh yeah, no, that was fun. 